Hello friends, today we are going to be looking at a Holmes catalog that I picked up recently from the grocery store. Um, it is dated March of 2022 and these are free to pick up near the checkout. Um, the first page is an ad for a bank and then we have the index which tells us what pages uh, different realtors are on. The first home is a three and a half bath home on 0.67 of an acre, close to schools, new oak, hardwood floors, a large living room with a bay window, a built-in bookcase, a bathroom with custom ceramic walls, a bar that is for eating in, Dining area, replacement windows, updated furnace and air, a full basement with a childproof family room, and an exit to the backyard. Included is a concreted floor 18 by 23 foot shed for storing garden tools and mowers and things. This one is 211,000. And here we have one that is also located close to the schools. It says it's in walking distance, 1.38 acres, a solid brick ranch home with three bedrooms, one and a half baths, a 22 by 11 foot living room, bookcases, a wall shelf, a 14 by 12 foot master bedroom, um, appliances included, replacement windows, 18 by 24 foot aggregate concrete rear patio, and a detached garage and outbuilding. It says that this one is $258,800. Now I will note that the this is all in U.S. currency. And we also live in an area where, um, despite the uh, housing boom, where all the, the market has gone significantly up here recently, um, we live in an area with a relatively low cost of living. So... Houses that are this price, you wouldn't find. You wouldn't find houses quite this big in most places. Um, this one is a wide open living area. 20 by 15 foot master suite. Large gathering area with four bedrooms and a double vanity bathroom. An attached 20 by 20 garage and a 12 by 14 foot covered patio with a large fenced in area. And that one is $329,900. This one is an industrial site, so a one story industrial building, uh, 47,000 square feet. 35,000 of which is clear span, the length of the 229 foot and width of 154 feet. It has a sprinkler system, exposed loading docks, mezzanine area, display area, air conditioned office spaces. It has recently been re-roofed and has electrical, gas, water, and sewer, and it is on the highway. It is $799,900. Um, this is a custom, customized country home. Uh, 0.89 acres. Uh, blends with country surroundings. Located near schools. Um, has uh, many amenities. The... Covered 34 by 20 aggregate concreted rear terrace 
plus an additional extended covered 24 by 7 covered patio. Um, left of the foyer is a galley kitchen. I have never been a big fan of the galley kitchen. My kitchen is the, um, more of like a room in its own, though it had, does have the dining room attached to it. But, um, we have a nice big eat-in kitchen with a counter space, which I really like, which makes it more of a, uh, a square and then a galley. I think I would have a hard time in a galley kitchen. Um, family room with a laundry area, bedrooms, closets, and three bathrooms, two car garage, garage canopy, storage shed, $149,500. This is an ad for the title insurance company. This is an ad for a place that does home inspections. Um, this home has, this home has everything you could desire. Acreage, storage, fixed walkout basement, four bedrooms, three baths, and trim work throughout the house. A one acre pond that is 35 foot deep and it has bass, bluegill, and catfish. An attached two car garage, a huge detached garage. Um, eight acres of pasture, yard, and wooded land. That one is uh, 395,000. Um, this one is 65,000. It is 5.68 acres. Um, there are uh, no houses or anything with that one. That one is just a uh, patch of land. Um, this one is 144,900. A family sized living room. A country eat in kitchen. Main floor master bedroom. Second floor has two additional bedrooms dining and family room, adjoining utility, laundry, and pantry, a large full bath, and a detached garage. Now that is definitely a necessity for me to have the laundry on the main floor. The house that we owned before we bought this one, it, um, all the bedrooms were upstairs, and the laundry was in the basement. So whenever I had to do laundry, I had to carry it up two flights of stairs and then carry it back down two flights of stairs. It was awful. And now my, my laundry room is right off the kitchen. So whenever anybody has dirty clothes, they can just throw it right in the washing machine and I don't even have to think about it. I just start it up whenever it's full. It's very nice. This one is a one-third acre lot in the city, and it is $21,900. If this is the lot that I'm thinking of, it is terrible. It's on a really steep slope, and it's been for sale for a really long time. Um, this is an ad for some storage units. Here's some more houses. This one says it is rural. Um, check out this two bedroom, two bathroom home in the heart of Martin County. The house is a short drive from Shoals and White River and has fast access to hunting ground, has a front porch and a large family room. Here is a building site. 30 plus acres with deer, squirrels, turkey, and other wildlife. Um, found in the forest is black oak, red oak, hard maple, poplar, and white oak. Many mushrooms are found on the land for spring hunting. Um, the property also has a pond and five acres of pasture land. Um, Around here, we have mushrooms that grow in the wild called morels, 
and they are highly sought after, very delicious. You've probably heard of them, I'm sure. But a lot of people go out in the spring and they hunt for them, and uh, they can make pretty good money uh, going out if you find some. Um, this one is completely renovated. Um, brand new kitchen, expanded master bedroom and bathroom, brand new furnace and central air, a new roof, all appliances are brand new. This one is um, a two bedroom, one bath with a large two car garage and almost a thousand square feet of living area. The property has had some updates in the kitchen and a new metal roof. Um, it is as is and where is. I don't know if I've ever seen where is in an ad, so I guess if you wanted to just buy the house maybe, or if the house is so terrible, maybe you want to tear it down and build something else. Maybe you're just buying it for the land. I don't know. Um, here's another ad for a bank. Um, uh, this one is for Carpenter Realty. They don't have um, information. There is no individual information on the houses, just if they are sold or in the new listing, sale pending, and their prices. So this first one is $190,000, 159900 479000 699000 199000 hundred and seventy nine thousand nine hundred two hundred and eighty nine thousand nine hundred a hundred and forty nine thousand five hundred and forty nine thousand a hundred and forty five thousand this one says it is sold and it does not have a price and this one which just kind of looks like a little garage is uh, twenty nine thousand it's probably I'm going to guess a barn on some property. Um, another ad for a home inspector. Another ad for a bank. This is Dixon and Dixon Auction and Realty. Um, 22.34 acres of wooded private building spot with utilities available. 22.34 acres. A uh, great building location located on a dead end road has access to fiber optic, high speed internet, abundant wildlife, turkey, white tailed deer, and other small animals, a wooded acreage, um, and it looks like this one is just about the same, only it is 11.16 acres. Also on a dead end road, has abundant wildlife and access to amenities. Um, this one is on six and a half acres, uh, estate property. Um, our house, the one that we are currently in, was in estate, and um, we had to pay extra taxes on it for a couple years, I think. It was, it was kind of stinky. I didn't like that. Um, this one has a partial finished basement with an additional shower. Laundry room is located just off the kitchen. Um, exterior has an attached carport, covered front porch, and a covered back patio. There is no price on this one. This one is on the Ohio River, own part of Perry County history. This property, known as Bethany Place, was established in 1895 
is located in southern Indiana, overlooking the Ohio River. The main house features five bedrooms, four upstairs and one on the main level, two full baths, hardwood floors, original woodwork details, three fireplaces, tall ceilings throughout the main level. Outside, you will find a full-length front porch, custom concrete patio area, and you can see the barges passing by on the river. Other outbuildings include a cabin with a large custom stone fireplace, large metal sided two-story garage with parking for three cars, plus a large workshop area, and a large open second level, also a one-car detached garage, and a smaller wood sided shed, a paved driveway, and stone sidewalks and landscaping. And that is $339,000. That one sounds pretty nice. I would love to live out in the woods like that. That sounds pretty good. Um, this one is sitting on four city lots. It is a brick ranch located on four lots. Three bedrooms, two baths, large living room, kitchen. Dining area, laundry room, a one-car attached garage, all on the same level. Um, recent improvements include a 24 by 32 foot pole barn with a concrete floor and a large amp breaker panel, which would be nice if you have a big garage like that and you're doing a lot of work. Nice to be able to plug everything in without shorting something out. This one has two city lots, four bedroom, one bath home, um, 1,956 square feet, four bedrooms, one bath, large rooms, sunroom in the rear of the home, a huge yard, and a 12 by 16 yard barn, and another shed with a concrete floor. This home is under 100,000. Um, 92,500. Four bedroom, one bath home. Um, 1,900 square feet. Four bedrooms, one bath. Main floor laundry. Detached two car garage. Fenced in backyard. Here are some commercial properties. Um, this one is over 11,000 square feet. Uh, it was formerly a grocery store, has a loading dock, automatic doors, and a large open expanse area. It is for real estate only. Um, current business is leasing the building. It could be converted to other uses, such as storage units, retail shops, a large paved, large paved parking area with 36 parking spaces. Um, 6,000 vehicles per day pass by this location. This 3,360 square foot building has two large mechanic shop garage bays, office area, and bedroom with heat and air. Automatic car wash bay has a uh, automatic system and accessories, half bath, self-service wash, self-service wash bay, sorry, and an exterior open air wash area. Lot is concreted and paved, um, has car wash equipment that comes with it, a vacuum island, and a credit card system. This one is 185,000, corner lot with very high traffic, high visibility location, um, located on the corner of two highways. That would be good if you needed a lot of traffic to your business. This is an ad for an auction. They says they have 147 acres of crop ground that has been sold and they can sell it or list it for you. We do have a lot of farms and uh, farmers in the area. Outside of town, it's almost all um, farmland.
corn and soybeans. Um, this is an ad for a credit union. And here is another ad for a home inspector. An ad for some storage units. And an ad for a bank. And that is everything in this book. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Um, I'm hoping to get some more videos out this week. And if you haven't subscribed already and you like what you saw, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And if you can like and share my work, that would also be extremely helpful to me. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day.